Before you can begin generating on-demand apps, you must enable the on-demand app service. Mark the checkbox to enable the service. Then, for the logging level, specify the level of detail that will be written to the service log file. The next field specifies the number of apps the service can generate at one time. This setting affects the response time for app generation. The next field specifies the number of days that certain historical data about on-demand apps is kept before this data is removed. Mark the checkbox to allow anonymous users to generate on-demand apps from navigation points on published selection apps. An anonymous user can generate apps only from navigation links that are published automatically. If the generated app is not published automatically, the anonymous user will not have access to it. Select the user to serve as a proxy for anonymous users. Choose any registered user who can create on-demand app requests. Once you've enabled the on-demand service, you can start building your own on-demand selection app or an on-demand template app. Alternatively, there are sample on-demand selection and template apps included in the ClickSense installation that you can find in program data slash click slash examples slash on-demand app slash sample. You can import this sample into your Click environment. To build an on-demand app, selection and template apps that can be linked together must first be created. To be linked, selection and template apps must have data fields in common that can be bound together. Once you've built your on-demand apps, you can open your on-demand selection app and click Edit. In the App Navigation's Links panel, click on the Create New button. Name the new on-demand app navigation link. Select an on-demand template app. All the apps in the template app drop-down list are valid template apps you must select an app that has been constructed as a template app and whose data binding expressions correspond to fields in the selection app you are working with. Next, write an expression that computes the total number of detail records. In this example, we add the sum of the total flight. Specify the maximum row count. The app can only be generated when the number of records computed by the row estimate expression is at or below the upper limit set by the maximum row count value. Specify the maximum number of generated apps. The reason for generating multiple apps is that each one can contain a different selection of data. In the Retention Time field, you can select the unit of time for the retention period. In the Default View When Opened drop-down menu, select the sheet to display first when the apps generated from the navigation link are opened. Select a stream from the Publish To drop-down menu where apps generated from the navigation link will be published. You must have permission to publish on the stream you select. Click Create and the new on-demand app navigation link will appear in the list of app navigation links. Then add the app navigation link to the app navigation bar on the selection app. Now you can make selections in your app. When the completion indicator for an on-demand app in the app navigation bar turns completely green, click the on-demand app. Click the Generate New App button to create a new instance of the on-demand app with the data currently selected. You can rename the app as you prefer. In the Load Progress tab, you have the app status. The app that you created will be available in the hub in the stream that you selected. Here is the app that you created. As you can see, the app contains only the selected data. If you come back to the selection app, you can modify the selections in the app, for example, by choosing the 2015 year. In the reload menu, you can regenerate the on-demand app using the current selections that have been made within the selection app. If you open the app, you can see that the app data has been modified with the data you selected. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.